Hello and welcome to the next part in Game of Thrones. The more I start to play this game, the more it starts to become, the, well, the decisions open up and it becomes a lot more interesting. Absolutely fantastic, loving it. £22 on Steam and the first episode, which we haven't even finished, is about two and a half hours long. I've already got episode two ready to go um, and there are going to be six episodes released in total. So let's get in. We have just given... Oh, sorry, I had you on then. That's not due to boredom. <laughs> We've just given the gauntlet to Sir Royland, who's a bit of a hothead. Uh, I'm wondering if I made the right decision by not giving it to Duncan. But anyway, let's get in and see what happens when the small council convenes. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Oh God, have I made the right decision? Uh, let's give it to this nut job. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The yeah. Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. And have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Hmm. Uh, I can't ask for he uh... We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. No way. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Not giving away the wood. No chance. If we stand on the wall, be shows we're defiant. Not going to surrender, no chance. If we choose to fight, we're probably going to lose. Is it better not to be of the code of honour to die with die with a sword in your hand rather than having it slit through your belly? As a coward, we will fight. My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. 
Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsey's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Yeah. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan? By inviting him into the hall, it shows that we're not f we're not scared of him. I think that will show more power than um, making him wear the gates. I will meet him in the great hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not. Another word. I'd hoped for better from you, my lord. Mm. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. Yep. And we will not offer our ironwood. No chance. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord. Where your sentinel belongs. I just hope I can trust you. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. How do you know? Asher is volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Sounds Asher does rash. not hesitate. He acts. That's what's we need that. Mm. You have many fine qualities, but... Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps. As long as he rules. Especially now. He obeys me. Hello, Malcolm. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Mm. I suppose it could be another interesting character to bring in if he's volatile. Uh. Okay, go get him. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. But I'm ruler. Dismissed, Malcolm. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. You're welcome, my lady. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Hmm. Tough decisions to be made in that one. That's going to really alter the storyline quite vastly. And that's the good thing about this game. No two playthroughs will be the same if you choose different decisions throughout. Milady. What? You? Again, peasant. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I, Is he a spy? I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. 
things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Mm. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. No, don't Please don't trust despair. him. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Trouble afoot at King's Landing, I think. Intrigue, despair, and loading times. Where that bloody hell is, Duncan? He should be here. But well, here we go. Now, fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him, and without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Mm. Your men are ready to act if needed. Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Here we go. A fat fuck. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? Yes. May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the... That's enough. Bastard. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <coughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More Forester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Yeah. Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the King. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? No. But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. Hmm. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a Forester. They mm. murdered our men. It was a Forester Squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. 
Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. Don't what? think so. What? The Ironwood? No, wait. But the White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. Whitehill men? Never. It's already done. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Go oh, on, cut his fucking Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm you his twin. You lay a warm my finger Lord. on her. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen. <laughs> That's an in joke. <laughs> Won't spoil it for you in case you haven't seen the films. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! No! What have you done? But no! I don't want a bold lord. Holy shit. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh, no! I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Ethan. Oh, come on. However... The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Fuck! Oh, no! You're gonna Dad, roast like a fucking me! pig! Oh my god, can't believe it. And with that, we'll come to the end of the next part. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Wow, I wasn't expecting that to happen, I can tell you that for note. 
Um, yeah, more coming in the next part. Let me know if you're enjoying this series. I'm enjoying it. There is a lot of watching. I know it's probably not the most interesting for you guys, as there are a few little buttons and decisions to make. But uh, let's enjoy it together, and I will see you in the next part. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. Bye-bye.